everyone, this is Jen. Thanks for tuning in to my channel. Today we're going to be making this acetate treat holder. And I have already, I had already made the video, but I was wearing a hat. And the hat was literally in the frame the whole time, so you couldn't see what I was doing. So I'm making another video. So these two are obviously Halloween themed. We're going to make the one here on the video the same as these. But when I was thinking about it, I went ahead and grabbed some holiday, some Christmas paper, I guess, some whatever, and I made one with that theme as well. So we'll kind of talk about this at the end of the video, what I did differently, and maybe something to consider when you're choosing your paper for this project, all right? To get started, you're going to need a piece of acetate, and I will show you what I am using. This is mine. It is 11 by 14 sheets. There were 25 in this pack. And for what it's worth, it's 0 .005 thickness. So I don't remember where I got it. I've had it for some time. And I don't use acetate that much, but I thought that I would get it out and try to make something with it. And I think they turned out really, really cute. So this, is, uh, this piece is 11 by 7. I cut one of those pieces in half. Instead of using my scoring tool that came with the board, I'm actually going to use this tool here. The acetate um, just works better when scoring with something a little more hefty, I guess you could say. I have it on the 11 inch side, so we are going to score just like we would any other project. I'm going to press pretty um, firmly and I'm going to hold the acetate in place because it likes to move around. I'm gonna, on the 11 inch side, we're gonna score at one and a half, five and a quarter, six and three quarter, and 10 and a half. Then we'll move it around to where the seven inch side is on the top of the board, and we'll score at one and a half. And that's all the scoring we have to do for the acetate piece. Now, for the cardstock piece that kind of makes the um, the backing or the frame of the project, you'll need a piece that's three and three quarter inches wide and ten and a half inches long. I'm going to go ahead and just grab my scoring tool from the board. And on the ten and a half inch side, you're going to score at one and a half, three, eight and a half, and eight and three quarter. That is all the scoring we have to do for this project. Now we'll bring the acetate piece back in. And just like any other project, we're going to just reinforce those score lines. And I will do that on all of them. You could make this out of regular cardstock as well. You could use the same measurements if you didn't want to make an acetate box or you didn't have any acetate sheets. You could still make this um, box itself out of regular cardstock. Grab my scissors here. So when we scored, we did one and a half inches. The larger increment is three and three quarter. Then we have one and a half, three and three quarter again. And then we have a half inch piece over here, which is the flap that will bring the sides together. On the bottom of that half inch tab piece, you're gonna just cut that off and get rid of that. Then what we'll do is we'll come back over to the one and a half inch area on the other side. And this is the inside of our project. I'm going to line this edge with a strip of score tape. You can do this with whatever adhesive you have. I would definitely recommend some dry um, tape, that red double sticky tape. It's great for something like this. You will see the adhesive ever so slightly, but it's really no big deal, especially when you get the cardstock in. You, you won't notice it. And this piece is on the bottom, so you're definitely not going to notice it. To assemble the sides of the box, I'm going to take my half inch flap over here and fold it down, and then bring this side over 
and just line up those edges press that down and now your boxes your sides are together and then I'll simply take oh I didn't cut in okay so when you have this I can do this now but when you have this flat you also have these score lines here on the bottom you're gonna cut those in because you want those to be apart obviously because you want flaps on the bottom so I'm just gonna cut those apart right now so you have your two side flaps your back flap and then your front flap <clears throat> excuse me your front flap which has the adhesive on it I just took the backing off I'll square everything up and I'll just press that down and now our acetate uh, box with the open top is completed so there's many things you can do with this at this point if you wanted to scrunch this together and just put a topper on it you could do that um, there's many different things you could do at this point but what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring back in this piece of cardstock that we scored I'm going to reinforce these score lines and then just exactly as I've done here I have two pieces of Halloween card stock this piece here um, is three and a half by one and a quarter and I'm just going to attach it with some ATG adhesive so this is the outside I'm just going to center that up press it down this right up here is going to be your top so that will be this piece this is one and a half inches by three and a half so we'll just put some adhesive on that as well and center oops I think this is actually a little bit longer let's see here yeah I didn't quite get that cut very well so let me just trim a little bit off of there so it should be three and a half by one and a half because I want just a little bit of border around the embellishment piece okay so there's our framing and I thought originally when I was making these I was going to need some kind of adhesive to keep this in the acetate box but that's not the case it's such a tight good fit that you're not going to need anything to keep this in place so we simply just take our frame here and push it in I used my ruler to just get it pressed down in there like that so you have your your front your bottom and then your back side and then I'm going to just take my fingers kind of push in on the acetate so that top flap will fold over just like that I have cut a little piece of velcro I have some long strips that I just uh, cut pieces off to use I'm going to stick those are stuck together right now and they're um, they have adhesive on them so I stuck one side to my cardstock I'll just peel off the other adhesive backing and then I'll bring my flap over and just press it down like that then I'm gonna try to gently open it back up and then I can stick my finger in here and reinforce that adhesive to where it stays on the acetate okay so then I can put it back in just like that and I didn't grab any extra goodies or anything because I already had these two filled but basically I fit three Reese's three peppermint patties and two fruit snacks in here so a lot of treats will fit in here this ends up being three and three quarter by five and a half um, by one and a half so you can get a lot in here then to finish it off I didn't do any stamping or really any kind of greeting I had these stickers that I picked up and they have little foamy pieces on the back and I'm just gonna stick this guy down here in this corner so I just stuck these spiders on here and that's all I did because I think with the candy and the paper and everything it was really really cute now let's talk about this holiday one that I made and how I got this double-sided was I took my 12 by 12 paper and I cut it to seven and a half 
by 10 and a half, and then I scored it on the seven and seven and a half inch side at three and three quarter, which is what our width is, okay? And then I folded it over on itself, and that's how I got this double-sided piece. Now, I will caution you because this is why I chose to do this one the way I did with the black, because when you have a pattern paper that has a certain um, direction that it has to go, when you start here and you score and you fold and you're folding over, this piece is going to end up being upside down, if that makes any sense. By the time you do all your folding and flipping over, so if I would have just used the patterned Halloween cardstock, this would have been fine, but by the time I would have folded it over, the design up here would have been upside down. So that's why I chose just to use the solid cardstock and embellish it with the Halloween paper. This, however, because it's such, you know, it's a random pattern, it doesn't have to go any direction necessarily, I was able to use just the cardstock itself as the whole frame or backing of the project. In addition to that, um, and once again, I didn't put adhesive on here or anything, I simply just used the Velcro and it stays in place. So that is super duper. This one, I went ahead and put on a handle as well. Just poked or punched a couple small holes in the top. There's that quarter inch um, lip up here where our flap comes over. So I punched just a small hole. I put the pipe cleaner in. This is about seven inches of pipe cleaner. And then, so that's our handle. So this came out super cute. And then I don't know how I'm going to embellish this right now, but I'll find some, probably some stamps or stickers or some, something to embellish this. But I definitely will be making more of these for the holiday season. Probably will make a video on it. So stay tuned. I hope you enjoyed the project. I'll see you next time.